Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley Gilmore, our student council president, to come forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ashley. Association, the students, the committee members, and everyone who went and supported the team this weekend um, at both the boys and the girls tournaments. I'd like to thank the girls for showing up last night and cheering on the boys. I know that was a tough thing for them to do. I'd also like to congratulate the girls on a wonderful season. Um, very, very few teams get to the final four. here to say congratulations to the boys. Many of you were here last night and I know you're a little bit tired and I'm sure the boys are a little bit tired. It's a rather long weekend. But they're here on time and ready to go to school. I actually told them last night they didn't have to come in until 9 o'clock but I was trumped by the coach who said no they need to be here because their number one goal is to be a student. So with no further ado I'm going to turn things over to Mr. McAuliffe and the Shazy boys. I want to thank everyone for uh, coming this morning and uh, just a few thank yous. Uh, thank you to Mr. Uh, Fairchild, uh, to Mr. Tregan, um, also to Mr. Calvin Castine who uh, is here every year and, and captures all the memories of our team. Uh, my assistant coaches, uh, John Tregan and uh, Galen Trombley, uh, and of course Mr. Norcross as well too. And uh, I'd also like to have our ball boys stand up if they could in their seats. Um, a round of applause for our ball boys, Ben Norcross, Bruce Juno, uh, Patrick Dwyer, uh, Preston Moore, and Josiah Bouchard. I'd also like to thank my wife, Kristen, my son, Jack, down there. Hey, Jack. Uh, and my daughter, Ava, over there. Uh, but I also want to congratulate the girls soccer team on an amazing season. Um, and as we've said before, only in Shazy can a team be uh, disappointed with only getting to the final four. Uh, but congratulations and another round of applause for the girls soccer team. Obviously, I'm very proud of, of what uh, our boys have accomplished uh, this year. Um, anyone who was there uh, this weekend would have been very, very proud of the way they played. Uh, as I've said before, and it's no secret, uh, I've stood up here before with um, better and more skilled teams. Um, but this team had something different. They had a real character. And, you know, and, and I was just so very proud of the, the people they are and the way they handled themselves this weekend. And I think from uh, all the teachers here, from Mrs. Rovers and Mrs. Doom all the way to the high school teachers, if you look up on this stage, for especially the elementary teachers who had these, these boys many, many years ago, that you can look at them and you can see what great boys they are. And many of you remember them as, as young students. And if you look at that, these 20 boys next to me, uh, what kind of character they do have. And that's one thing I think we all should be proud of, what we produce here at Shay Z. Yes, we do. Uh, you know, teach what's in the books, and we teach uh, to, we teach social studies, we teach math, we teach science, we teach English, we do all those things. And we see very great results from all those things. And we've had our name uh, on Blue Ribbon Awards, we've had our names on websites that say we're one of the best in the state, but I think we also have to take a great pride in 
the type of character that we also teach in this building. And when I look at not just these students here, but the ones also in front of me and the teachers who do it, that not only do we produce good results on tests and scores and all that, but we also produce very, very good um, students and with great character. And if there was ever a time where I witnessed great character, it was this weekend. Uh, the way they handled themselves, the determination that they played with, we should all be very proud of these boys and, and the teachers, what we produce every single year in this building, with the tests, with the scores, and the character that we produce. So I thank you all for that. And so at this point, I'd like to introduce uh, members of the team. And so when I say your name, can you please stand? Um, first, freshman Gage Duquet. Kyle Drake. Kyle Hicks. Spencer Roberts. And one of our goals in this weekend, Austin Gravel. And one of our inspirations the whole season, Derek Drake. Alex Hebrey, Adam Knight, Sam Pogos, and again, as my son says, the fuzzy hair boy. Zach was also named uh, MVP of the final four. Thank you, O'Connor. And goal score from Saturday, Al Lapeer. Uh, our rock defense lead, Dylan Dorn. Our goalie who played amazing this weekend, um, Trent Blaze. <laughs> Brandon Ryan. <laughs> Thomas Depot. <laughs> Alex Rabbit. <laughs> and our big goal scorer from Saturday night, Dylan Grill. <laughs> Finally, my two captains, Josh Barrett. <laughs> and Hayden Gay. I thank you all for, for coming and taking the time out of the day. And uh, I guess the last thing I'll say is uh, I give you the 2013 Class D State Champions. You guys are tired, so if you want to sit down, go ahead. Again, thank you all for coming today. Uh, hopefully we can get to do this again next year, maybe next year for both teams. That would be another wonderful treat. Uh, I'm going to ask that the high school students have a seat while we get the elementary students out and back to their classes first, and then the high school will go back to the second period. And again, thank you all for coming today.